Uh, so I'd just been at the dentist and I thought I would take a funny video while my mouth was uh, half numb <laughs> um, and a bit swollen. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the left hand side of my face, I can't really move. Um, yeah, I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd take a video. <laughs>
Hello, hello! Welcome back to the vlog. I've been gone for a while. I feel like I say that at the start of every video, but it's true. I spoke to you guys in November uh, about a bit of what was going on last year, and I vaguely recall saying something about <laughs> we'll try and be more consistent about putting a vlog out there. Um, obviously, I have failed at that. Um, we'll try again. We'll try again. You know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. I've kind of, I've had a very busy start to this year, I had lots of trips and stuff, I've tried to film bits and uh, here and there to show you guys. I'm not very good at it, honestly, I keep forgetting. It's quite hard to take video of yourself while you're shooting as well, um, which is a bit tricky. So this is just a bit of a clip show, I guess, um, as you might have seen already. I had a bit of a sort of three-week trip at the start of the year, I did two of the ISSF Grand Prix, one in Slovenia and one in Croatia. Struggling a wee a bit there, just like couldn't quite settle. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. Just not quite settled yet. We then went straight from there to Austria and Munich for the H and N and the Maiden Cup. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it got better. I had one good match. Um, I kind of tweaked uh, tweaked a bit. I got fed up of shooting badly, so I spent a good fifty minutes at the start of the match, like tweaking until I could find some good feeling um, and then yeah that match went well or the rest of that match at least went well and the match the next day went really well. Munich again I was quite close to the final but like not close enough and um, so yeah I was like pretty happy with how that had gone quite tired by the time I got home. Start of February uh, I went to Aldersley which is a place in the sort of middle of Britain to shoot one of the British shooting air gun series um, and that went pretty well. I got the new my new Kapapi suit put it on just before that competition. They're very stiff the the sort of new Kapapi suits I think they've got a new material they're very very stiff so it took a lot to kind of like force it into like my shooting position I guess but yeah so I shot in that and it went pretty well and then the weekend after that I went up to Inverness to my parents new house that was nice um, and to shoot one of the Scottish Grand Prix which also went pretty well I was like, really happy with that so like starting to feel better and starting to like get in a bit of a flow with it we then went to Cairo for the first first world cup of the year I was only shooting the air rifle I've only been shooting air rifle at the moment um, I'll come to that in a minute actually. But yeah, it went really well. Um, I shot 634 in the match, um, which was an equal world record. From what I hear, I will get that equal world record. The rules had changed that you could only set world records at World Championships and Olympic Games. But I believe with the with the new management, they've decided to reintroduce the, the world records starting from the 1st of January. Um, so I'm told I will get that as an equal world record, which is pretty cool. Yeah, went through the final um, and shot really well again in the final. I was really happy with how I was shooting and managed to win. So that's me, um, my second World Cup uh, air rifle medal and my fourth uh, World Cup overall medal, which is pretty cool. Had a little bit of a uh, break when I got home before heading out to European. Yeah, Europeans went really, really well as well, as you might have seen. <laughs> uh, the match was uh, really good. Not a world record this time, but still really happy with how I shot. It wasn't the easiest of match. Like I, I kind of felt like I was really having to work for it, but still managed to shoot shoot 632 ish so yeah i'm really happy that like my off days are becoming six they're still 632s that's pretty cool and then yeah i made it through to the final shot really really well in the ranking match and um, to get into the gold medal match and again like i shot pretty well throughout the gold medal match just not as well as jeanette did so i was second in the end but uh, i managed to get my quota for paris which is so exciting i'm so happy and yeah like i'm not bummed about coming second at all like i shot really well and honestly like i'm really happy with my performances if i have a good performance and um, even if the other person's just a bit better than me that's totally fine bit of a whirlwind tour not much else going on at the moment just shooting um but that's me like succeeded at my my goal was to to get that quota place at the europeans and um, so goal checked Woo! So I'm now at home for a little bit. I'm, I've got a couple of weeks since I got back from the Europeans. This is the end of the first week. And um, so I've got another week at home and then I go down south to sort of, again, that same place in the middle of England to do some training. And then I've got, I think, another three, three or four weeks at home. And then I'm going to go to um, IWK in Berlin. We're heading out to Baku for the next World Cup. Um, so yeah, it should be an interesting time. Next week, I start shooting 3P again <laughs> for the first time since I think October. The last time I shot 3P was the pre-event for the World Championships and then I got ill so I never got to shoot my match but yeah that's the last time I managed to shoot 3P. So it's been a long time. I kind of felt that I just needed to to take a pause and to take a break and to take some things off my plate. I guess if you've watched the last video you'll have seen like I had a lot going on last year and I was really struggling with 
life in general I guess and I really just needed to give myself enough space and enough time to sort of recover I guess. So I'd made the decision in October to drop 3P through to Europeans and just focus on shooting air rifle and focus on doing it well, focus on um, trying to enjoy it, uh, learning, remembering how, how it is I perform, winning that quota place and um, that was really my focus. Trying to like get healthy and um, which I can say touch wood and um, I've been healthy since I got home there's still some investigations and stuff going on but actually like in general I've been feeling pretty good my mental health's tons better I've been feeling loads loads better really focused um not just on shooting but like loads of stuff I've got I'm really I'm really focused at the moment and I've got lots of projects that I'm doing and wanting to get done which is great so yeah I start at 3p again next week I'm a little bit nervous I think my body's gonna take a fair beating I think but we'll see how it is I was quite apprehensive I guess I really struggled with 3p last year like it was my better event for so long and the one that was just came easier to me um, and until until it didn't, I guess. And yeah, I was just a bit like kind of, I think I was anxious about it and just like, yeah, I needed some space from it. So I've, I've taken the time off. Um, I'm actually feeling, feeling better about it now. Like I'm feeling like excited to go and shoot it and excited to, to start training it again. So I think that the time off did exactly what I intended it to, which is great. Hopefully I will be able to film a bit of that and you'll get another vlog in a week or two, which is exciting. I think that's it for the moment. Sorry, it's a bit of a short one and a bit of a clip show, but that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you wouldn't mind you can give me a, a thumbs up if you like the video and um, you can follow me or subscribe and then you'll get notifications when I eventually do post more videos. That'd be awesome. So thanks guys. See you later. Bye.